Good morning, I'm Stephen Edholm from Skillcult.com and people often ask me where to get scion wood. These are the cuttings that you graft onto a tree or rootstock when you're doing grafting. So they're just dormant cuttings. In this case, you can also use current season cuttings to, you, to uh, get buds to do budding. More commonly, and especially for trading like through the mail, uh, you're gonna be using dormant wood like this. It's cut when it's dormant, stored in the fridge, and then grafted on when, uh, you know, like around spring. So people watch my videos and they get all excited about, you know, some apple like Wixen or Cherry Cox or something like that. You know, not super common. You can't just go to the nursery and buy one usually. Okay, the number one option is to find a Scion exchange, often called a Scion swap. And these are places where people meet up and everyone brings their different cuttings and usually they're free. Sometimes there's a small entrance fee, but rarely are the cuttings actually for sale. Just get online and start searching. Search. Cincinnati Scion Swap or Cincinnati Scion Exchange, use those search terms, or Wisconsin Scion Exchange. It could just be a broad area like Midwestern Scion Exchange or something like that. You could also try similar terms for um, fruit growers. And there's a lot of groups like that. Someone just told me about a Scion Exchange website in France. So you could check that out and try to find if there's any actual swaps going on through those type of, of websites. And I'll talk about more of those in a minute. But that can be productive. You know, someone asked me about Scions who is from North Carolina. You know, 15 seconds later, I was sending them a link to a Scion swap in North Carolina. The other thing you can search is grafting, you know, Wisconsin grafting class or Midwest grafting class or something like that. Online, there's some resources I can recommend and I'm sure there's a lot that I don't know about. Uh, the first one would be the North American Scion Exchange and they have a website, but it's really the Facebook group that's really active. Check that one out for sure. And that's again, a place you might find out about Scion swaps and meet people from your area that you can start networking with. I'm a big fan of the growingfruit.org website and forum. There's a lot of really great knowledgeable people there from all over the place. Uh, it seems to be mostly North American, I think. And that's again a good place to network, find out about scion swaps, and actually trade scions through that too. There's NAFEX, the North American Fruit Explorers. Um, I've never been a member of NAFEX, but it's a membership thing. I believe they have forums and you can probably communicate with people and swap and find people in your area. Uh, maybe they have local chapters, I'm not sure about that. There's also one called Midfex that I know about, which is like the Midwestern fruit explorers. Permies.com is probably another good one. It's like a permaculture based website, but there's a lot of people there of like mind who uh, do grafting and collect fruit varieties and stuff like that. Those are good resources. Uh, probably my number one on there is gonna be the North American Scion Exchange and second would be growingfruit.org. Now, if you're on there, be polite. You know, think about what you're requesting from people. Realize that if you don't have anything to trade yet, then, you know, you're kind of asking a favor of someone and don't, you know, don't just barge in there and say, this is my scion list, who's gonna send me this stuff? and use those opportunities, the Scion exchanges and the digital stuff to start networking. You know, it's good for us all to start connecting more. There's more and more people interested in this hobby. It's a super fast growing hobby. There's more and more websites and more stuff happening, but we need to start finding our local people because that's where you get the best information and the best varieties often is gonna be the people who've already, you know, tested or are currently testing stuff in the area. If you find even just a few people close by, maybe you can start an email list, start communicating, and eventually start meeting up once a year, and then that can turn into a sign exchange eventually. You can also just buy them. They've gotten more expensive in the last few years. Uh, a lot of them are $4 and up. I think they're all almost all $4 and up. Well, a lot of times they're $5 each or $5.50 even. But that might be the only option if there's a variety that you really want, and that's the only way you can find it. Remember, once you have it, you can be helping other people by, you know, distributing those scions and trading them too. And especially if it's something relatively rare that you're excited about, other people might be excited about, then it gives you some leverage for trading. So once you get something, if you have to buy it or whatever, then you start to become a source and then you're going to get more. So you, you have, say, five interesting varieties that you got and then you trade for five more interesting varieties. And a lot of these people are really nice people. You know, I've sent lots of people piles of cyan wood who sent me like one or two things because I don't care. You know, I cut the stuff and 
if it's cut and it's easy for me to bundle it up and they want, you know, 10 things that I have and I want two things that they have, I just, you know, I would just send them that. At this point, I have so many requests and it just makes more sense for me to sell Scions. So if I have Scions in the future, they'll be on the website and you can get them there. But I'm just saying that it's people, you will be one of those people, you know, people like you and you can return the favor and, uh, you know, help distribute these varieties more. Okay, so here's a request from you guys. If you know of any good uh, sources in your area or online, leave a comment. If you're not on YouTube right now and you're watching this somewhere else, consider logging into YouTube. All you need is a Google account, so like if you have a Gmail account, you can do it. Start the comment with your region in caps, say like Wisconsin in caps, and then you know talk about your experience or something like that. A website or anything that you have that might help people find scions and find uh, like-minded people in their area. So those are my best ideas on finding scion wood. If you want to know more about cutting and storing scion wood and grafting in general, watch my grafting series. I'll link it in a second here at the end of this video. And happy hunting and have fun grafting and trading. It's a great hobby and you're going to meet a lot of cool people because almost everyone that does this hobby is super cool, like me and you. All right, later.